Hello everybody, my name is Ralph Wagner. I'm from the University of Koblenz Landau at a research group Learning and Neurosciences and I want to talk about web-based risk mapping as a service. First of all, I will give you some motivation and talk about the aim. Then I will show you an exemplarily open source setup. And finally, I will give you some conclusion. The aim of this talk is to demonstrate exemplarily possibilities of extending open source based spatial analysis chains with suitable components providing additional capabilities and interfacing them with an adapted web interface. I will give you a proposal of a web based risk or quality density mapping as a service with open source software and the possibility of extending a used GIS what means a geographical information system by a computer algorithm system, a mathematical software that provides symbolic calculations. In this context, possibilities of interfacing suitable Unix open source software are regarded, and furthermore, that is to say that the shown possible constellation structure can be extended using a web mapping server for getting more user based interaction. I own an early warning and response cycle and I want to identify where the density mappings that are computed by the web interface fit in. They are generated mappings that represent the density of available information according to the provided data. In a decision-making chain, the computed results can be useful for estimating the reliability of risk and demand mappings, but also of resource mapping based on the available information. Here there is shown a proposed open source setup. It begins with the data collection by a web interface that can be adapted for individual user needs. The data is then processed to a statistical software R statistic that is started by a system call of GRASS-GIS. And there the data is processed by the Cajonan algorithm for data reduction and for and identify some clusters. This cluster data is then processed to the CAS Maxiba and there is an additional information about some density factors. In this CAS maxima there is done an interpolation using Gaussian mappings. This data then is processed back to our statistic for pre-processing the visualization by the GRASS-GIS. The pre-processed data then is processed to the GRASS-GIS. There is done uh, additional visualizations and the storage in the database and back to the web interface there is shown the graphical representations of the computed density mappings. Now the single steps are regarded more precisely. Here you can see the web interface for data input and since this is a simple HTML form it can be adapted suitable to the regarded application and with respect to the possible user. On the left hand side you can see the data format. It's a simple CSV file and there is given the coordinates of certain points and certain values that are important in the regarded context. For example, that could be weather stations at certain coordinates and that can be provided data of temperature or pressure or rainfall. Then the data is processed to our statistic started by the GIS grass and there is used the Cajonan algorithm, a special kind of an algorithm according to a artificial neural network it is used for data reduction and for clustering and in the hierarchical structure of ANMs 
it is a feedforward synchronous network with unsupervised learning. On this slide, this clustering is shown. You see on the left hand side the input data points, for example, the weather stations, and on the right hand side you see so called codebook vectors relevant for the Cajonan algorithm. And these codebook vectors are individually responsible for a certain cluster containing input information. On this slide, the whole process is regarded in a more structured way. You see there is a system call starting the GIS, and within the GIS, R is started, the data is processed using the Cajon algorithm and some density factors are additionally computed and the whole process data then is stored into a CSV file for further computation. Now I want to have a closer look at the calculations and the algorithms that are used in R in the background for computing the influence factors for the interpolation in the CDS maxima. The results of these calculations is the influence factor mu j that is stored in a CSV file with the according codebook vector coordinates and then is processed for further calculation to the CAS maxima. The CAS provides here powerful possibilities of symbolic calculations for generating the interpolation mapping. The computation starts with a kind of inverse distance between the input vectors provided by the input data and the according codebook vectors generated by the Cajonan algorithm. This value is computed for every codebook vector with respect to every input vector. As following step, the influence factor lambda ij is calculated. This represents the ratio between the distance value eij of the codebook vector wj and the input vector ei and the sum of all distant values of this input vector. Finally, the influence factor mu j for every codebook vector represents the ratio of the sum of all lambda ij to the sum of all distances of the input vectors and thereby characterizes the density of the input values with respect to this codebook vector. On this slide, the further processing is demonstrated. The CSV file with coordinates and influence factors is processed by the CAS maxima that is started by a system call. The computed parameters of the interpolation mapping is then stored in a text file for the further processing. Here an example for the used Gaussian mappings is shown. At the coordinates of the regarded codebook vector is the maximum of that graph and in the according cluster 13 input vectors are located. On this slide the whole interpolation mapping as a sum of these Gaussian mappings is exemplarily shown. With the generated text file, a kind of pre-processing for further visualization in GRASS is done in R, producing a CSV file that then will be imported into GRASS. There, using the serve RST module, a visual representation is computed and the generated maps are provided for the web interface producing PNG and SVG files. On this green cost, the web interface is shown. The usage is password protected, but on the last slide I provide the address and my email contact details, so you can contact me and I give you access to that. The user can upload data here, add necessary SQL parameters for the storage in the GRASS database and additionally insert parameters for the CAS maxima calculations and then start the processing.
after the calculations, the different maps are shown. I inserted them for showing the capability of directly using the maps generated by Maxima and the ones generated by the grass on the browser side. Finally, I showed you a suitable adapted process chain of open source software for spatial data analysis in the context of density mapping generation. The used components are combined and interfaced using a web interface that can be adapted using CGI and PER commands. One main aim was to demonstrate a proposal of extending a process chain for spatial data analysis with additional utile open source components exemplarily demonstrated on the CAS Maxima. Thank you for your attention and on this slide you can find the address to the web interface and my contact details so please feel free to contact me